Alexander Usyk defeats Tyson Fury. Hands down leads to man down. Hello, fight fans. Coach Nathan, back at you again with a recap of this past weekend's blockbuster fight card that went down in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, headlined by Ukrainian's own and now the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk. Usyk has now won just about everything there is to win in a boxing ring, from an Olympic gold medal to cleaning out the cruiserweight division and unifying the titles there, and now beating the top tier of the heavyweight division, first in Anthony Joshua, whom he beat twice, and now Tyson Fury, albeit by split decision. The fight showcased a world of courage and determination on the part of both men. And along with the belts, Alexander receiving the belts in the win, he also received a broken jaw in the process. And Fury left with a badly damaged nose and right eye. Now, there's many ways that you could dissect this fight. But from a coach's perspective, Tyson made it a lot easier for Usyk to get the victory by his clowning, which he even admitted himself at the post-fight press conference, his arrogance, and dropping his hands throughout the fight. To do this against probably the most highly skilled and the most dangerous heavyweight in the world, it's as if you're begging for a beating, which by the way is what he got in the ninth round. Tyson did have good momentum, which actually started in the fourth round as he landed some good body shots, which clearly bothered Usyk. And uh, he hurt him with a vicious right uppercut in the sixth round. And he did it again in the seventh round. Usyk, on his part, he kept his poise throughout the match and took full advantage of his opportunities, nailing Tyson, as I said, when he dropped his hands, and particularly when he backed it to the corners. He landed a big shot at the end of the eighth round, which led to the near knockout in the ninth round, as Fury appeared out on his feet. And fortunately for him, this happened at the end of the ninth round, and he did get a little extra help with the long count of the referee. Alexander continued to land big shots in the remaining rounds, giving him his hard-fought and well-deserved victory. The co-main event was between the now IBF cruiserweight champ, Jai Obataya, who has 25 wins, zero defeats with 19 knockouts, and Morris Bradis, who is now 28 wins, three defeats with 20 knockouts. This fight didn't really turn into a demolition derby until around round 10, resulting with both men suffering a broken nose. And uh, this caused, caused a lot of spewing of blood, enough to cover the ringside press table. But it resulted in another hard-earned victory for Obataya, who's now looking to unify the belts in the cruiserweight division. Now, the drama, the excitement, and the explosiveness of the main event between Usyk and Fury, this makes this a prime candidate for fight of the year. And to the benefit of us fans, the, re the remix is already set to happen again in October of this year. And in training for the rematch, maybe someone should have Fury do high guard drills with dumbbells or weighted gloves until his arms are about ready to fall off. Now that's to be able to block the same right hooks and straight lefts that he ate throughout this match. So that's my take on this one, folks. But don't forget for elite boxing instruction, elite boxing analysis, and elite boxing philosophy, click that like and notification button and subscribe to NS Champ 7 Part Boxing Series at NSChamp7.com. And as always, I'll be seeing you the next main event.